All right, we gotta thank Uncle Russ for these items. My brother, Big Russ, sent me as a Christmas present. By the way, interesting fact about my brother, he has the same mother as I do. Our mother, mom, we'll just call her, is a member, is a commandant of the Spelling and Grammar Police. So she would not like that this company's called Right in the Rain, R-I-T-E. This, this company, Right in the Rain, I've actually never heard of them, but I was uh, looking at them. They're, they were founded in 1916. So, made in the USA. And these are uh, rugged, do-anything pens so that, that write in the rain. They write in adverse conditions. So, I don't even think I'll need to use this knife to pop open this first one, which is number A050. And look at the, look at the hand holding this pen on the on the package both of these this is a pen and this is a pencil look how dirty these hands are and you know from a lot of my other review videos I'll have dirty hands and you know people will be like oh clean your hands and I'll be like do you really trust a G-Shock watch review from a guy with clean hands you know I got dirt under my fingernails it proves it proves that I use these items I'm tough testing now my hands are clean today I don't know if anybody here has dirty hands that... I do. Okay. Oh, you do, Daphne? Whoa! Okay, yes, she does. Bring your hands over here, Daphne. Bring your, bring your hand... Look at those! What were you doing? Were you working in a mine? No. How did you get such dirty hands? Water and coal. Coal? Yeah. Did you get coal in your stonking? No. This box is kind of difficult to read. This is a manual transmission pen. It has a glass shattering tip, and this cloud is not for weather modification, which I first thought right in the rain means that you can actually write with this pen on wet paper, as we'll demonstrate. Wow. Okay. This pen, it's metal. Uh, it does not feel as as heavy as I thought it would. It looks like it's, it's, it's like chipped obsidian, like a, like a crude tool with these little points that the grip is pretty good. It's not glossy. It's not like the SOG Twitch 2, which has kind of a satin finish. It has a good tech, like the grip on this is like powder coat. And look at this clip. Daphne, you want to hold it? Come on over here. And look how dirty those hands are. These are hands from someone whose review you can trust. What do you think about that pen? I like it. All right, and here's the glass breaking tip. Really sharp. It's probably gonna poke a hole in my pocket. I'm gonna have to bring it to the wire wheel at work. I have, I have plenty of other things that can break glass. I think that this is gonna break my chest pocket, which is where I store pens. It's really sharp, actually. But the pen itself, look at this clip. You know, I was complaining about my other pens that, you know, like the Zebra X701, which I ought to go get. All right, you guys talk about these pens. Let me get my other ones. All right, I, had, I actually had the, the Zebra X701 in my pocket. I can't, and the, I got, just got the Zebra G7, Five zero. I've not really tested this one a lot. I was I was bringing it to work with the intention of, of testing it. Test it a little bit. Writes pretty well. It's it's a, this is a gel pen, the G seven zero one by Zebra, and then you know we had the X seven zero one. I was complaining about the clip on this tactical pen. This clip is is not a good clip in my opinion, but. Wow, look at the let's look at look at this metal readiness pen. Look at this clip. This is a serious clip. There's no joking around with this clip. Let's put it over this white paper so we can see it a little bit better. This is a serious clip from a serious pen. Pretty difficult to see with it being black. It's like a coal black color. And Oh, there's my, was this in the wash? It went through the laundry. Yeah, this, when I couldn't find it, I was like, I bet my Zebra F701 went through the wash. It did, it still writes. All right, the rat and test, rat and rain. That's how we'd say it down here in the south. Oh yeah, 
Really nice ballpoint pen action, really smooth. A really, really thick, rugged pen, but not too heavy. And, and uh, this can write in the rain, all right? Uh, I'll find some links on Amazon for these Rat in the Rain products. They are available on Amazon. All right, so this is like the notebook, a Rat in the Rain official notebook, all weather, all right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna test these out, all right? Uncle Russell, my brother, last time he was visiting, bought all the kids uh, squirt guns, right? Like super soaker yeah. type of squirt guns. And water balloons. And water balloons. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna sit here, you know, or outside actually, and, and rat, like, I live in the desert. I don't know what my brother was thinking, sending me, like, waterproof pens. The most amount of moisture I see is from sweat. But anyways, the kids are going to blast me with, with water guns while I try writing in the rain. So I'm going to write here in cursive, thanks, Russell. Sorry, Russ, I ran out of room. That's my brother. Thanks, Russ. Watch out, look for him in the comments. He's a menace in the comments, that's what they call him. So this <laughs> defying mother nature, that's, that's the motto of rat in the rain. All right, so we'll, we'll, that's unboxing and first impressions is that this is, this is not too heavy of a pen. The, the uh, what's this pen called? The metal readiness pen by rat in the rain. It's not too heavy, very rugged. This manual transmission, this bolt action clip is, is very robust. And there's a, there's a lanyard loop at the top. You know, you can stick a lanyard through. And this, this pocket clip looks very robust. There's chips in, in the shape of the pen that, you know, looks like a corn on the cob, black corn on the cob, you know, where all the corn's been eaten, there's little sections left. That may not be the look they're going for. They, they're probably looking for like chipped obsidian, like a, like a stone age tool. Looks really nice. So we'll test this one out. I'll give it a further review and I may just wire wheel away this breaking the glass, unless we'll take it to the dump See if we can find a TV to smash. Wouldn't it be good to know if you could smash a TV with this pen? Yeah. Break a window. And we'll put it head to head with the Zebra X701, the Zebra F701, and where's my other pen? Daddy, what should be this one? The Zebra G750, and Daphne is testing these already. Where's my SOG Twitch 3? We're gonna open up this uh, work ready mechanical pencil, all right? Now, this is for forklift certified workers only, but we're using this SOG Twitch 3 knife to cut through the blister pack of this work ready mechanical pencil by Right in the Rain. And this pencil too can write in the rain. Oh yeah, this is, this is made of plastic, but this is a really nice uh, pencil too. It has a black eraser. It's cut, it's came loaded with some lead. And there's some grip here. The plastic's kind of slippery, but uh, there's some, some textures, some lines here. Hash marks, rat in the rain on the side. And look, another robust pocket clip. I really like to see that. All right, let's try this mechanical pencil. Right in the book. We wrote thanks, Russ. What should we What should we write to Uncle Russ? For the pen. And thanks, Russ. For the pen and pencil and notebook. And does anybody know how to spell notebook? Note dash book. This pencil writes nicely, okay? It's starting to take a good shape. You know what? Notebook, I should probably write notebooks. I'm gonna erase that uh, period. Put notebooks, put an S. Daddy, can I write uh, Oh, all right, love Jimmy. Love Jimmy. And Brian. I mean, oh, and Brian. 
<laughs> and Daphne. Well, maybe you guys should write your own names. Okay. All right, use the pencil to write your name and tell me what you think about how the pencil writes. The pen or the... Right, try the pencil. I guess, all right, you don't have to write in cursive. <laughs> all right, he's yelling his name. <laughs> he yelled his name. Exclamation point. Now let me write All right, Helen's gonna try the pencil. Move it over here so we can see, Helen. Yeah, hold it. No, all right, she, all right, you just put your squash in the way. All right. <laughs> Move your squash, Helen. All right, Daphne, you can use the pencil, you can use the pen. Daphne, whichever one you want, right in the rain. We should really be blasting this with water because the whole point of right in the rain is that these will write on this paper even when it's raining. I, these were these are from the American Northwest. I am in West Texas. There is no rain. There's no rain here. That, that's there the thing. Is. There is. Yeah. Well, I've never seen it. So. Uh, we're gonna have to simulate rain with like sweat or water balloons or water guns that Big Uncle Russ brought last time he visited. We still have some um, water balloons that Mommy bought. Yeah, we still have water balloons. So we're gonna we're going to tough test, water test, moisture test these rat in the rain pens and pencils in notebooks. Compliments of Big Uncle Russ for a Christmas present. I did not get my brother a Christmas present. Dude, did the kids get Russell a present? No, they got William a present. Alright, little Billy got a present. So, so far my, my first impression of this is positive. How much does it cost? D, can you look up how much the metal readiness pen costs? Oh my goodness! Big Uncle Russ really smashed the pot here this Christmas with, with gifts. This, this pen costs $90.12 on Amazon. Alright. Well, thank you, Uncle Russ. This is like, uh, it better be good if Uncle Ru Big Uncle Russ is going to spend $90.12 on this pen. Dude, I think the steak's ready. So the work-ready mechanical pencil, Uncle Russ got the black color, comes in yellow, and this yellow one, well, the black one costs $16.95. Wow, Uncle Russ really blowing up the budget for uh, Christmas presents. And I didn't get him a single thing. And his birthday's coming up January 5, so I don't know, maybe I might repackage one of my old watches. Maybe, like, does Uncle Russ want a pro trick? Let's see, I don't know. Anyways, thanks to my brother, Uncle Russ. And uh, leave a link to below if you're interested in any of these and stay tuned for our, our tough test or moisture tests for all of these pens. I'm Jim Kincaid, thanks for watching.